Buongiorno, buongiorno you guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome, it's nice to have you with us. My name is Cenge, I'm a personal stylist based in Milan and this channel is more or less about my job, styling, edgy styling and helping you to find your own personal style. Long time no see, I you know I'm still uh, in my pregnancy. I just really miss you guys but I'm back and it's amazing to see that we grew a lot so to the new people to the new subscribers welcome you're gonna have your heart it's on the way I'm just uh, I just ordered some hearts so you guys are gonna be here very soon thank you so much for subscribing it means a lot to me from now on uh, I will be working with a video editor so I'm super excited about that and I will be sharing a video every two weeks I will soon give birth so I don't know how it's gonna be just be patient with me because I am absolutely planning to come back and share more videos about edgy styling with you guys so if it's something that is interesting to you and you're not subscribed yet just make sure to hit that button down below I'm not planning to become a mom tuber. However, pregnancy and having a baby is part of my life and I thought that it would be also interesting and maybe inspiring to other edgy moms to create this video and share some cool outfits and it is not useful only for them, it is useful for you too because I am going to implement mainly not pregnancy items. I realized that it is insanely boring what people create for pregnant women it feels like for nine months we just lost our tastes i made this video to show you girls how to create these outfits how to look cool pregnant and how to avoid looking just simply talky and wearing just like very boring clothes i'm currently eight months pregnant almost turning to nine so i have a quite big belly so i would definitely generally recommend you to wear like very stretchy clothes that's just the best thing that you can do so obviously baggy items are very cool but i made these five outfits and i really want to show you and explain you how to match these items and how to complete them in order to avoid looking very boring or very tacky so that being said let's see the first outfit my concept in the first one is layering basically it is the best time to put layers and different fabrics one over each other i am wearing a pregnant pair of jeans this is my actually my only pair of jeans these are flares it's just because it ships you better it's a fact most of the body shapes look the best if it is a pair of flare jeans and when we have our bellies let's say that we are quite round so we just definitely want to avoid accentuating the attention on our upper upper body and i added a very simple band t-shirt it is also you know an, a kind of essential in our edgy wardrobe so that just cannot be missed from a, a grandeur edgy wardrobe and I put another layer over it. It is a mesh dress. I feel like it is so extremely exciting. And putting a belt over the dress, it's obviously it doesn't have to be very straight because we don't want to make any pressure on our belly. So it is just under the breast line and over the belly. In addition, I completed it with a jacket. It's a, it's a blazer jacket. It has my seasonal colors. You girls, I talk a lot about the seasonal colors on my channel. I talk about it on my courses. So if you're interested, in, I'm just gonna share a couple of links down below it is very important to know what colors fit you the best it's essential literally essential in this outfit i implemented the most you know, best colors in the jacket and added a cool hat to it just to create you know like a frame to my outfit and i added a pair of loafers it could be also a pair of boots or anything that you feel comfortable in so that being said let's see the second outfit the second one is also a kind of layered outfit i have to say i managed to get my hands on this dress it is like a t-shirt chiffon kind of top that looks like a dress so i just managed to get this rolling stones shirt and I added underneath a silk 
kind of a little bit heavier shirt you know I am wearing a pair of leggings super simple super comfortable and yes I added some colorful accessories in order to complete the Rolling Stones icons red toning so I think it really looks cool it's a kind of color blocking that is still very simple these just like red and yellow colors are just popping up my in my outfit I'm wearing heels in this case if it's a comfortable event you can wear heels if it's something that requires walking avoid heels I tried and it was painful okay I added a beret to the outfit again just to create that you know like the just to implement the plus one rule something that is not needed to be there but looks more stylish if you do that I added this hat and I feel like definitely it completes the outfit next one it is going to be a more me outfit I guess because it's more my colors uh, this jacket is such a statement I really love it I bought it in Milan so I matched it again with a flare pair of leggings it's again a very good trick I really feel like it shapes me it creates the outfit more stylish with the skinny uh, leggings I don't really feel like it would give the same impression and the same silhouette I think it is definitely more elegant and more creates a more delicate silhouette and again I added the red bag in this case I really concentrated on the back of this jacket that is red and on the stripe that you can see on the sleeves of this jacket and I added a loafer uh, again it's just very comfortable it's just elegant it's not a sneaker so I feel like here in Milan definitely it's more feminine and more delicate and elegant in our edgy way you can also add ballerinas or you can also complete it with a pair of boots a pair of black boots are always just like very 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 common and it takes part of the wardrobe foundation so you can actually add them up and wear them with any outfits but we are gonna talk about boots in another video I'm planning to create a video about that as well and now uh, I did a hat a hat as you can see on me now cannot be missing it is just my part of my personal style if you don't like hats it's fine but you can also add a beanie to it it would create a more street style effect in your outfit the next outfit is a more romantic and cutie one I love it and it is again not a pregnant dress I just bought it in a Milan boutique it is called Imperial and they are providing made in Italy items on a, an affordable price I would say high quality I really love them they're not sponsoring this video so I'm just purely loving them so if you're interested check them out I'm gonna leave a link below if you're interested and um, in this outfit I feel like I traveled back to the 70s <laughs> I really like this pair of cowboy boots that I just purchased recently they are high heels so I have to be very careful and if you have something like this at home in your closet just be very careful because they are tricky like they will bring you that pain that we were talking about but in this outfit I really really enjoy that the tights are out and it's feminine I like the silhouette it doesn't really make it obvious that you're pregnant but we don't really always want to be like you know in the very tight silhouette and it goes very well with the big hat it's my one of my favorites my fedora hat you can also complete it with different ones I just feel like the fedora head is wide enough to balance out the huge and large silhouette of the dress and also you can complete it with a bow like this I usually wear this bow with this blue dress but uh, I think I had it broken I just had to put it all in order because the pin was broken but I usually would definitely wear this bow with the dress it adds it like it adds style to it again it's such 70s and let's see the fifth one it is definitely the grocery run outfit the edgy grocery run outfit it is much relaxed uh, than the other outfits even if you have a well-defined personal style it is not that every single day we are vibing the same way so there is a contrasting one and it, it is this one I really feel like it is that day when I don't really want to get dressed <laughs> whenever I want to go to the post office or the grocery run or something to do around my house and I just want to stay stylish edgy statement but comfortable as hell <laughs> and um, yeah in this outfit you can see that I'm wearing a tube dress 
It is so cute, I love it, it is so comfortable. It's such a good base that you can complete with something like this that I'm wearing here. I just opened it up, sorry. So this is what I'm wearing actually now, or with a nice uh, large jacket that you can see on the video and so many other ways to style it. However, not for all the body shapes, it's not recommended for all the body shapes, so just make sure that you know your body shape and then you can decide whether it looks good and you feel comfortable in it or not. But definitely when we are pregnant, it is such a cool piece in our closet. It's gonna be so comfortable. And it just felt like so boring to me because it's just a bank, creamy white dress with a pair of pregnant tights and a sneaker. And I felt like I really needed some statement in my outfit. So that's why I added this very cool jacket that I bought in Milan with this outfit i was uh, adding a statement bag as well so it just creates a nice balance in the boring part and the very statement part and also wearing a very very cute beanie beanie is very comfortable i really like it and it just keeps my hair in like the right position and i don't have to worry about it so i would definitely recommend you to wear an outfit like this when you have something to do around or you have to go for visits. Anyway, a dress like this is definitely very, very, very comfortable on the wrong run. If you're out all day, again, you can wear something like this and it is gonna be stylish and comfortable on the same time. So I hope that you found this video useful, inspirational and interesting. And I hope that you are gonna stay tuned and be around and be patient with me. I'm gonna do my best to film more videos and share it with you guys. I really, really miss you and thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Ciao!